We're back now at 20 after 8. Remember the student who got tasered when he confronted Senator Kerry at a university event and wouldn't step away from the microphone? This is part of what happened. How could you concede the election on the day? How could you concede the 2004 election on the day? When in this book it says there were 5 million votes that were suppressed and you won the election. If you are so against Iran, how come you are not saying let's impeach Bush now? Impeach Bush now before you can invade Iran. Also, are you a member, were you a member of Skull and Bones in college with Bush? Were you in the same secret society? Hey, don't hate me, bro. And that was the before and the after at this event. Andrew Meyer is here this morning with his parents, Joel and Judy, and his lawyer, Robert Christie. Good morning to all of you. Nice morning, to see you. Let me ask a question that so many people have asked over the last month and a half or so, and that is, what was your agenda? Why did you go to that forum that morning? What did you hope to accomplish? I went there with serious political questions that you saw me asking. My only agenda was to raise the important issues that the media doesn't talk about, the disenfranchisement of voters. And when I talk about disenfranchisement, I'm talking about American voters not being allowed to vote and not having their votes count. When, when you say you wanted to, to cast light on that, shed light on that, had you thought going into this event, Andrew, that if that means that I have to get a little bit unruly and I have to get the attention of Senator Kerry and the police and I have to be arrested, so be it? Not at all. I mean... I just wasn't able to maintain my composure. I went there to try and ask these questions calmly, but even asking these questions in today's environment, it causes a scene. I didn't intend to create one. People say, okay, you brought a camera with you, you brought a video camera, so there was some intent on making sure this was captured. Was that for your own purposes or was that for the purpose that we would all be showing this on national news shows? I brought my camera to document me asking these important questions to put the answers on my website. Not not that I thought I'm going to suddenly have a giant news story. This is, a, this is a big surprise to me that I'm sitting here, to be honest. So you didn't go there thinking, okay, I may get arrested. I may get a taser gun stuck in my side, but as long as I shed light on these issues, it's okay. I wasn't thinking that at all. I just went there having read this book. This is Armed Madhouse, the book by investigative journalist Greg Palast. He works for the BBC. I went there with this book trying to raise the issues that he brings up. You have since gotten into a lot of legal problems. You were arrested. You spent a night in jail. You were tasered, as we've said. And now in the negotiation, negotiations process with police and university, you've written some letters of apology, correct? You know, I did step out of line at the forum. I broke the forum rules, and I want to apologize for that. I also want to apologize for the negative light this whole incident has cast on the university. The, nothing like this has ever happened at the university before. Nothing like this has ever happened to me so before. So wait, let me make sure. Were you wrong or were the police who tasered you wrong? What's your opinion on that? You know, I think, I think that the police were, were acting, they were doing their job, is what they were trying to do. I think that I'm here to talk about the important issues, not the sensationalist issues, not the tabloid journalism that the media wants to cover about the taser, about me personally. I think it's important that Americans realize that we have an election coming up and your vote might not count. You need to realize that, that there's important things in this country that aren't being discussed. But let me just make sure, you didn't write these, and your lawyer is sitting right across from me, probably staring at me right now, but you didn't write these letters of apology to the university and the police simply to avoid prosecution where in your mind you feel something else. No, I, I wrote those letters of apology sincerely. I mean, there, there, well, there was rules in place. I, I did not follow the rules, and that's my fault. What was Ker Senator Kerry's reaction to this? What, when you get grabbed by the police, were you expecting to hear him yell, let him go, he has a right to ask these questions, and what response did you get from Senator Kerry? Well, you know, Ke uh, John Kerry did say that he wanted to answer my questions. You know, I'd love to come back here with him on this side of the couch, and we could go through my questions and, and get some answers from him. I would love to do that. Uh Joel, I spoke to you yes. before, when this all happened, right. I spoke to you before you even had a chance to exactly. speak to Andrew, who was being held in jail. Right. When you saw the tape, when you saw what led up to the tasering, were you angry at your son or were you proud of your son? Well, I was very proud of my son for standing up for his, his rights, basically. He was asking a question at a forum, a college forum, a college setting, where people are supposed to ask questions. This was a town forum where people came to ask questions questions to Senator Kerry and he asked the questions maybe that no one else had the guts to, to ask and Senator Judy Kerry. as a mom when, when you heard people say this is a troublemaker this is a guy who went there to cause trouble how do you respond to that well I, I, I know that that's not the case he's not a troublemaker he was there to um, 
discuss his beliefs. And Robert, are you happy that this is all now behind us? And any other legal action quickly, if you will, I've only got a few seconds. Um, of course I'm happy. I'm happy for this family. They're, they're a good family. They have stuck together through this. The case is over. The cases are over. We're moving on. All They're right. moving on. And Andrew's going to answer some more questions a little later. If you have questions for him, go to our website.